I absolutely refuse to be offended. No, sir. Nope. I don't care what you call me. I don't have to answer what you call me. <laughs> Amen. So I'm absolutely, I absolutely refuse to be offended. That's one of the things that Jesus said will separate you from the word. In fact, the word offense means to separate. So I'm not going to be, I, I'm not going to identify with some and, and become offended with something. Um, I'm identified with Jesus, but it takes a while to get that over to your flesh. You have to make a firm quality decision on the word of God, take a stand on it. Having done all to stand, stand there for I refuse to become offended. And then when you do get offended at somebody or something somebody does or says or whatever, or you see something on television and you don't like it and uh, you get all upset about it, when you catch yourself at it, don't put it off. Repent right then. <laughs> Repent right then. Get right back on track. You don't have to feel sorry. Just, just repent right down. Oh God, I did it again. I guess I'm just a dummy. Shut up. <laughs> Amen. Now, Brother Copeland, <clears throat> while you're on that, you and I, we, we, in time at the house, we talking late and just talking, discussing things. <sighs> a few comments about how the enemy has tried to work with the black man's self-esteem. Just a few comments about that. Yeah. Good. Amen. <clears throat> well, <laughs> oh man, glory. You have to realize that Satan is tied into certain things and places because of fear. He's totally fear. The way God is love, he is fear. He was the anointed cherub. That, that, that anointing was, was turned to capital fear, man. I mean, he, 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 he didn't have anything else. And his fear of the black man is just enormous. Well, what you have to understand, Bill, when he's afraid of you, see, he's, he's natural, physical. He, he can't get on the inside of you. He, he is not a, he is a fallen, darkened spirit. He's a dead spirit, which means he can't, he can't do anything without permission. He can't do one single thing to me apart from fear. Not one. No more than God will do something for me apart from faith. It's that spiritual connection. You have to realize that the people that persecute other people for any reason is because they're afraid of you. And they don't even know why. But they're afraid of you because the devil's afraid of you. And if you will track the scriptural history and find out about it, you'll, you'll find the role that the black man played far exceeds what most people have any idea. 
the uh, uh, Satan is frightened because once, once a black man takes hold the way he was created, the place that he, where he lives in the spirit, man, if I was a devil, I'd be afraid to. <laughs> Amen. Cause he will excel. He will excel. Created to excel. And, um, it, it, it frightens him to see anybody take hold of the Word of God. It frightens him. I, I mean, he, he lived for centuries with that hanging over him that there was coming one that's going to put his foot on his, on his neck and he didn't know who it was. So the thing that we have to understand and realize in the book of Acts, the scripture said, there's no accident where every one of us were born on the earth. Everyone. Amen. Well, I don't see what, what quit, ain't, ain't your business to see. Amen. You don't, you don't need to understand that anyway. All you need to understand is inquire of the Lord, find out what you're supposed to say and say it. And then find out what you're supposed to do and do it. And expect the blessing of the Lord to open every door, to stop every era, to stop and work with me, for me, unto me, over me, because after all, I am of royal blood. There is an attitude to this. There, there is an attitude of faith. It's not pride, because you didn't do it. Amen but it is a joint heir attitude. But now if you're going to walk in that attitude toward the devil, you're also going to have to walk in the servant's attitude. Amen. Now in here, <clears throat> we kind of come into a, to, to a place where we've got to start wrapping this up. In in terms of what's going on in the cities today, and let's just say predominantly in the African-American neighborhoods and the murders and so forth like that. I got a call uh, from New York uh, in Brooklyn. And they wanted to come together, to put our forces together. She said, this weekend alone, this is about two, weeks, two weekends ago, uh, we had 18 murders of young people in Brooklyn. That's just one borough of New York. Mm -hmm. And uh, now incorporating the blessing in terms of getting back in here and taking command over this planet because the enemy's behind. He was a murderer from the beginning. Mm -hmm. And uh, taking this blessing and how to use our faith and so forth going forth how could we as believers begin to think of, in terms of impacting this situation from a scriptural standpoint? Of view? Take it from step one. Slow down. Slow down. Not by might, not by power but by my Spirit. who is the blessing. Mm. By my blessing, saith the Lord. Th these are interchangeable. The glory, the Spirit, the blessing. That's the Spirit of God. Because it, it's recorded. You see here, the, the Bible says the Spirit of God raised Jesus from the dead. Also in the book of Romans, it says the glory raised Jesus from the dead. Mm -hmm. Amen. I know it's going to be the blessing that stops this. 
There ain't no natural power can stop it. Now, <clears throat> let, let, me, let me take an, another step here because this has to be said. Scripture said, when the righteous rule, the people rejoice. Now, when, I don't care what political party it is and making a difference what they call themselves. You have to go back to foundations. You have to go read the platform of that party. They call it a platform because they're inviting you to come stand on it with them. It's more than just voting for an individual. Well, I just won't vote for neither one of them. Well, you just did. There will be one that makes it easy to sin. That's the reason you, there, there are certain groups of people and ain't none of them in church that are never divided on a candidate because they ain't looking for the good of the country, they care less. They're looking for somebody that'll make it easy for them to steal, to kill, and destroy. Because they like their father, the devil, see. So now, I said that to say this, as long, uh, as long as people are standing on that platform and that platform is in force, then Satan is enforcing the platform. When that takes place, the curse gets stronger and stronger because people are talking it and people obeyed it. Your ballot is a seed. You make it easy to conduct abortion then you're part of abortion. Now, when that happens, then the weather gets worse. People are cursing Israel. That means the, 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 natural, the natural envelope that should be filled with the blessing has relaxed and the curse is functioning with more impunity. I know that. You and I know this is true. We're believers. We understand spiritual law affects everything. So now what must I do? I must go be still before God and inquire of the Lord, sir. First of all, um, I'm supposed to be functioning in a way that will make it harder and harder and I believe impossible to commit murder under my authority in my area. I'm taking a stand here on this. I have prayed for a combination, an outpouring and, a, and, and an outcry of all the anointings that God has released in Chicago, Illinois and the surrounding areas to be compound together and released at one time as this conference opens the heavens and swings the curtain back and let it flow. One of the greatest manifestations of the healing power of God was in this city uh, uh, under Alexander Dowie and, and the great Stone Street Revival, 1913, Marie Woodworth Edder. And uh, oh my goodness, man, there's all, there's all kinds of things that have happened right here in Chicago. Well, people talk about this being the, the, the illegal city. They talk about this being, well, this is where the mob was. Well, whose mob? <laughs> We're a bigger gang than they are. <laughs> 